A few weeks ago, we got this What's Miner M30S Plus Bitcoin miner from the team over at ASIC Jungle. So just over 30 days ago, we went ahead and launched a giveaway in partnership with ASICJungle.com to give this away. And we pulled the winner late last week. So tomorrow, this is being shipped out to Vanessa up in Canada. So congratulations to Vanessa. But before we go ahead and ship it out, let's talk about the profitability and what this makes per day. Today's video is sponsored by the team at ASICJungle.com. Has your team taken crypto mining to level 10, secured a brand new facility, and now ready to outfit your facility with mining hardware? ASIC Jungle has you covered. ASIC Jungle is one of the largest crypto hardware procurement partners in the industry with some of the best manufacturer relationships out there. Their discounted pricing proves it. Some of their team's favorites include the Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro and the What's Miner M30S series. ASIC Jungle is a leading player in the mining hardware space with its top tier brokerage services. Learn more by following the link in this video description to ASIC Jungle. Once again, huge shout out to the team over at ASIC Jungle for providing this What's Miner M30S Plus and supporting the channel. If you guys are in the market for any ASICs, go over and check them out, especially if you're looking for volume or volume discounts, go check them out at ASICJungle.com. I'll put a link directly down below. All right, so the M30S Plus is a Bitcoin ASIC and it's no joke. It is a beast of a machine and I had it running for almost two weeks now, actually a little bit over two weeks. There are about 15 days total and I did have it mining on Poolin. So I created a sub account for it so we could test this out in its entirety. So if you guys were to come over here, I can go over to workers and actually down to earnings. So what I did was under earnings, I actually exported everything and threw it into a spreadsheet so that we could look to see what this made during my 15 day trial period, as well as what it makes per day. So at the time of recording this video over on CoinGecko, you guys can see that Bitcoin as of March 22nd, midday is going for $28,790 and five cents. It's actually up 1.2% currently right now. We're so close to that 30,000, I cannot wait. We will be there. We will be there very, very soon. All right, so let's see what Mine the ASIC predicts that this unit would make per day and then electricity costs and what it would make after electricity. So I'm over on minetheasic.com. If you guys want a link for their site, go over and check it out down below. It has kind of become our Bible as, uh, as ASIC miners now to get all the details and information on profitability. So I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna search for M30. And once we're over here, you guys can see there's actually a few different models out there. There's the M30S, the M30S Plus, and then there's the M30S Plus Plus. This unit that I got my hands on from ASIC Jungle was just the M30S Plus. So let's select that one here. This is their 100 terahash unit. And in the upper right hand corner, you can see we are set to seven cents. So based off of the current price of Bitcoin, that this unit would go ahead and we would get per day $8.30. But you have to keep in mind electricity. So this is saying electricity cost per day would run us $5.71, leaving us with $2.59 in Bitcoin per day. But that's off of seven cents. Let's double this to maybe something a little bit normal, which is 15 cents. Now you can see there's a huge difference here and how valuable controlling those operating costs are. So at 15 cents, our income stays the same, but look at that electricity cost, $12 a day at 15 cents, leaving us actually at a, a net negative of $3.94. And do I even dare bump it another 10 cents to 25? And then you're talking $20 a day. It's insane how much just a few cents for electricity rate really matters. So we'll go ahead and swap that back to what mine is currently, which is seven cents. So at seven cents, now, if you guys are like, whoa, 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 seven cents, home crypto miner, what's the deal? I'll leave a full link down below and a card in the upper right-hand corner to a video where I go about explaining how I got seven cents 
and how you may be able to do that as well. So go over and check out the video. All right, so let's crunch some numbers. I'm gonna leave a link directly down below to this spreadsheet. This is the one that I currently used in a previous video where I unboxed this unit and set it up and stuff. If you guys wanna go over and check out that video, I'll put a link directly down below to that. But at a high level, just gonna go ahead and explain here at the top because that does affect uh, at the bottom. So at the top, this is something we measured in my last video. This unit had three modes, low, normal, and high. I ran this on normal the entire time period during our 15 day trial. And even though it's at 100 terahash unit, it's still mined at 106 terahash. But look at those watts, 3,520 watts at the wall. Now, if you look at high, do I even dare? 109 terahash, which is great, but you're at 3,697 watts. I think if I was to be running this at a higher electric rate, I probably would consider their low power mode. So you sacrifice a decent, not a ton, but a decent amount of terahash down to 87, 88 terahash, but it does drop your watts down pretty significantly to 2,717. So all based off of your electric rate, you may buy a unit like this from over at ASIC Jungle and then go with the low power mode now. And if at some point profitability increases or that will ever happen, electric rates come down. I don't know why that would ever happen. Um, you could go ahead and swap to normal or to high. So let's talk about profitability. So down below here in the yellow, we did a 15 day snapshot of profitability on this unit. And I exported this directly from the pool. Didn't measure anything on the miner itself. So we did run from the 20th of February up to the 6th. And I cut out like the day before and day after and such because we started halfway through the day or finished halfway through the day. So I wanted full days here in order to get a full snapshot of what we'd be looking at. So from February up uh, 20th up through March 6th, you guys can see in the E column, which is our amount column, you guys can see where our profitability in Bitcoin per day was. Mostly in that 0 0.003, and then you'd have 3.3, 3, 3, 3.1, 3, 3.0. So all, all very, very close. And you can see the terahash actually under the C column under daily share. So you can see what we were performing at and how the unit was actually doing. So if we take a look at the very bottom here, BTC as of today, as this moment, $28,710.11. So our total that we did in 15 days, full days, was $137.15. Our average per day in Bitcoin is at 0 0.00031. So that puts us at per day, this unit was making at the pool level $9.14. This doesn't account for electric. So going over to uh, mine the ASIC, looking at our seven cents, that puts us our electricity cost at $5.71. So adding that in, based off of just that number, for me personally, during that 15 day period, our profitability was $3.43 per day with the Watts Miner M30+. Plus. Now, if you're like, okay, well, what's my break even? Um, I try not to look at break even on investments like this. You know, what does it take to break even back to my original cost? Because I firmly, and I, and I imagine you guys do too, firmly believe that the price of Bitcoin will not stay the same, that it will continue to go up. And it seems like any minute now, we're going to break that 30 mark. So I, I, it's really hard to sit here and be like, the break even is several hundred days, you know, like be realistic based off of that $3.43 per day. I personally believe, and I'm curious on your comments, leave a comment down below. Do you believe Bitcoin will go up before electric prices drop? I do. I personally do. I don't see electric prices dropping anytime in the next two years, especially with the current administration. I think uh, within the US, I think that Bitcoin has a higher possibility of increasing which we'll take it either Bitcoin goes up or electric rate goes down. If both occurred, oh my word, that would be the perfect storm for us. Well, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Huge shout out to these guys right here, ASIC Jungle. Go over and check them out at asicjungle.com. I'll leave a link directly down below. Once again, congratulations to Vanessa in Canada. I will be packing that up and shipping them out to you tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this recap, go ahead and give it one of these and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.
Hey everyone, it's Son of Attack, and I have just released my crypto mining e course at sonofattack.com. It includes nine high level steps that I utilize to capitalize on the Bitcoin halving cycle and generate a revenue that was twice the amount of my current day job and helped me create a career within cryptocurrency mining as well as, of course, the cryptocurrency YouTube space specifically as it pertains to mining. I also include in there additional materials surrounding the Bitcoin halving and how you can time that as well. I want to thank Hobbyist Miner for sharing this with you guys, and I hope you'll check it out once again at sonofattack.com.